Hey guys, it's Yusuf with The Collective Team, and today I'm gonna do a quick Power Apps tutorial on how to create, read, update, and delete records using SharePoint Azure Data Source. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and jump right in. So first I'm going to go ahead and connect to that SharePoint Data Source. I hit Add Data, SharePoint, let me search SharePoint. Now I have my data source connected and what I'm gonna do is have a gallery and then I'll create a form which we'll use to view, edit, delete and create a record. So first thing will be the gallery. So let me go ahead and add, just do a vertical gallery and connect it to our SharePoint data source. And we're gonna keep it real simple. Let's get the title here. And let's say maybe we'll do the status. The data source I'm using for this example is just a issue tracker. All right, and we don't need to make this too fancy since it's just gonna be an example. And I'm gonna do a rectangle in the background. Um, this is going to be just so that we know which record we've selected or are about to select. And so I don't need a background color. I'm going to add a border. And with that border, I'm gonna change the uh, border color to be based on if it's selected. Uh, an if statement, so if this item dot is selected, just do a blue. And then if not, we'll just do uh, a gray. That way, as we're looking at this example, we'll know, like I said, what we've selected. So you can see here, if I select this one as blue, that way we all know. All right, and so I have my gallery here, which is what I'll be selecting to trigger what I wanna do in the form. So now we can drop in a form. I selected form, you'll see there's edit and display, so I did edit. And this would probably normally be on a separate screen, not right side by side, but I just want you guys to be able to see it in action, how it works. Let's just throw a border on this as well. So for my form, the form is gonna be what allows me to view specific re records, edit, delete, and create. And so for the data source, it's gonna be my SharePoint data source. Automatically, it's gonna put in all the various fields I could, of course, edit fields and remove some, add some, um, but we're just gonna leave as is for this example. And so the first thing I'd probably have is a, is gonna be for creating. So an action, so the form knows it's gonna be a new form because the form has different modes. So the modes it has is you know, view only, edit, and new. And so right now we have it set as edit, but what we'll do is, create a new button up here. And on select, I'm going to do new form and it's form one, which is the title of that form. And this is gonna let the form know that it needs to be in the new mode. So that, because right now it's an edit, it's gonna be blank because it doesn't know what it wants to see. And so what it needs to know is what item should be here. So if I go ahead right now, just for what we wanna do is create a new, it's gonna be blank. But once I click this, 
these fields populate because it knows now you're creating a new record. And for that new record, I'll then need to have a save button to confirm that I'm adding that record. So I'm just going to do save. And all I have to do is on select submit form. So we use new form to create a new record with a form. Now we're using submit form, which will be used to submit this new record. Submit is also will be used to submit changes, which we'll see. So go ahead and hit or type in, sorry, uh, not submit, form one. And now I can go ahead and put, this is a new record. and hit save. So now that it's submitted, the form doesn't, it's in a new mode, so there's nothing here to display. If I scroll down, there it is, the new record we just created in SharePoint. So now let's say I want to view. So what I can do here is, I can maybe have a couple options. So you know what I'll do is go ahead and we will, I'm just going to delete the status. We don't really need it here for this example. And I'm going to add a button into the gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and add an edit icon. And let's make that smaller. And so if I want to edit the record, what I would do is on this icon, the on select is going to be edit form. So we use new form when creating new record. Now we're gonna use edit form so that this record can be edited. So now form one. And so now what I do have to do is in the form, there's a property for item. And I'm going to want it to be gallery one dot selected. Now, because normally this would be on a different screen, so it wouldn't, right now what it's doing is you'll see, because it's in edit mode, I can automatically edit based on this. But if I was on a separate screen, we would just click the edit button, which then navigates that screen, and I would see all this here. And so now I can go ahead and make changes. Is an updated record. And hit save. Now I can see that updated the record in SharePoint. So that save button is the same button you use to save for a new record, save for an edit record. Now, if I wanted a view only option, so let's just do a button. And I'm gonna put view. Now, based on your app, you might, you can, you know, obviously, have different rules of when to view and when to edit. Um, but like I said, this is just for the example. So now on view, what I would do is our edit icon had edit form. Well, now I'm gonna do view form and it's gonna be form one. So right now I can edit this record, but if I were to click here, it's gonna be in view only mode. And so the user cannot make any changes to this because it's in view mode or read only rather. So now let's say if I want to delete a record, I can go ahead and create a new button. Put delete. 
And let's go ahead and make this look like a delete button. And what I'll do here is on select, I'm going to have it, I'm gonna use remove. And it's gonna be my SharePoint data source. It needs to know which specific item to remove. So I'm going to do a lookup. Again, it's gonna be my data source. And I want ID equals, and I'm gonna do gallery1.selected.id because in this case, it's going to be the gallery item selected in edit mode. So now if I go ahead and hit edit, I can now click delete and you can see a process and that record is now gone. You can use these in different ways as well. If I wanted to allow the user to delete a record within the gallery instead of opening the form, I can also have, let's say, an icon here I'm going to change this icon to say delete I think that's an option maybe with the trash there we go I'm gonna make it red and on select what I would do is make it same thing, similar to what we did, remove, issue tracker, do a lookup, so no specific record to delete. And again, my issue tracker, and ID equals, and I'm gonna put this item, so this record in the gallery that I'm selecting, dot ID. And now I can easily delete something from right here and that's deleted. And there you go. That is how you can easily use galleries and forms to create a record, make a record read only, update a record, and delete a record. All super simple to use, and so I hope that helped you guys out there who are getting started into Power Apps. And as always, don't forget to follow the Collective team for more content and great tips and tutorials. Talk to you guys all later. Bye.